Today in Chris Performance Repair, we're going to do a little bit of a talking head video here where we talk about emissions and this is due to popular demand or request, I guess you could call it. So I have several videos related to displacement on demand or active fuel management, however you want to phrase it. And a lot of people seem to think that the turning the system off is going to affect emissions testing and it's actually going to cause a failed emissions test. So. We're going to talk a little bit about that today and the reason this conversation is being brought up is I recently had another message. Now I've had many messages before but this particular one from Chris, it says he sent me two of them and uh, the first one was on my, it's the video is called my VLOM modification explained and my VLOM modification for those of you who don't know can be seen in the corner there but it's from my original lift or release video my long release video and that's where he left the second comment so the first comment here is uh what about california we can't delete the dod and pass smog please help now the second comment which was on that lift or release video that i have linked in the corner says i have an 09 Tahoe with about 240k on it. Sounds like I have a collapsed lifter. I have had multiple codes which I replace the spark plug for the cure each time. The motor has clattered at startup for a couple of years intermittently and goes away after warm up. I live in California so the DOD delete is not an option for me. Any ideas or direction for me? Now I am no emissions expert per se because I am currently in Minnesota. We don't have emissions testing. I do have some knowledge from when I was in college about the gas analyzer and things of that nature. Now when it comes to emissions testing, so obviously they put the sniffer in the tailpipe. Some of them are four gas, some of them are five gas and they test that but they also check for catalytic converters make sure that's present make sure there's no dongles in the obd2 port that are disabling some kind of emissions program so that dongle comment that i just mentioned the range disabler device will invalidate a emissions test because they will see it and they will think of it as an emissions tampering device however if you buy a 2500 hd chevrolet pickup for instance, they do not come with AFM or displacement on demand and they pass emissions perfectly fine. So the displacement on demand active fuel management system is not a requirement to pass a emissions test because they do not at any point during the emissions test, to my knowledge, activate this system. So does turning the system off fail an emissions test? No. I can guarantee you that has nothing to do with the emissions test. Now. As far as if you tell them you have shut the system off, that might raise a red flag and cause them to flag you and fail the emissions test. So, I suppose, you know, if they know, they will fail it. But if they don't know, they won't. And that's kind of where I sit with my opinion on that. So, comment below if you happen to be an emissions tester or know a little bit more about this than I do. What can you fit into this conversation that I don't know about? Because like I said, I'm in Minnesota. We don't have emissions testing where I'm at in the state that I'm at. I'm not even near the city and our main Minneapolis metropolitan area city does not do emissions testing currently at this time of this video. However, like I said, if you know, be sure to comment, fill me in with a ton of information. Maybe post something that is related to California specifically because if you know something that's very helpful to the people who want to turn the system off that might give them the ability to do so or, or the knowledge that makes them comfortable in doing so, I will certainly be able to pin your comment down in the comments below. So why does the AFM system not actually affect emissions? The only way the system is technically activated to where the emissions testing could be tested is as if they went down the road with you with a sniffer in the tailpipe. And honestly, I think the emissions test on a higher mileage vehicle would do much, much worse if the AFM was active. Now, the reason for this is because 
the rings wear out on the AFM cylinders in a very strange way that allows oil to go around the rings and get into the cylinder. So the moment that you're you're during the during that AFM switch transition from non AFM or no from the AFM active state and then you get on the throttle a little bit and it kicks back into the V8 mode, it's gonna have a bunch of oil in those cylinders and it's gonna try and explode that oil. It's not gonna fire very good initially because when the motor's worn out, it kind of soaks everything in oil in there while it's not activated because that piston's still moving up and down and it's still pumping, trying to pump past the rings, but it becomes just a big spring cushion and of air and that air is not perfectly sealed. So it's still allowing it to flutter oil back and forth and that gets in the cylinder, then it blows out the tailpipe. Of course, the catalytic converter is supposed to catch that and burn it, but it doesn't get it all. So I'd imagine if you were to take any emission sniffer of some portable one of some sort and do some kind of data measurement on it where you're watching a live graph, you would see as soon as the system kick back into V8 mode, a spike of something high for an emissions content issue. But obviously that's not practical. They're not going to go on a test drive with you. They just do it where they do the testing, where you're sitting in that whatever they do. I mean, I, I honestly haven't experienced it, but I can't see them going on a test drive. So with that, a couple last little comments here. Hopefully this emissions video was helpful for you. And is something that you can use as ammunition to try and prepare for whether you're willing to do the system turn off or not. And if you're interested in vehicle builds, performance builds specifically, I will throw a link to this build once the video is out up in one of these corners. So like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when a video like that comes out or any of my other future videos. And with that, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.